Hey buddy, it's Crazy Crazy Four, and welcome back to some more Kirby Nightmare Dreamland. In the last episode, we went through level three. Um, what was it called? Butter Building, and kind of got introduced to not kind of. We got introduced to the secret switches that are gonna be pretty prominent um, from this point on. Uh, in the game. So yeah, that was something and in this episode We'll be continuing on with the game of course by going through a level 4 grape garden Of course your boy's still rocking with the hammer. Why the heck wouldn't I be? Oh, yeah, also we fought a really stinking easy boss in the last episode um, Level 3's boss mr. Bright or bosses I should say mr. Bright and mr. Shine Unbelievably easy. I don't know why they were so easy, but I'm kind of glad they were and there goes my hammer fantastic Fantastic. Okay, now I can't have it anymore. That's great. Also, green water LDs. That's not, you know, common. Alright, let's see. There is a secret switch in this level. Just gonna be careful because I don't exactly want to lose my ability. Be fantastic. Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, this level looks dope as heck. Oh, that's a UFO. UFO is pretty, pretty cool. Um, uh, bah, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of go through. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we're chilling. I'm trying to remember. I think it's in this room that we have the secret exit, or sorry, the secret switch. I don't like how I'm on my last lives. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get beam. Get a little bit of attack power right here. Okay, perfect. Now here it is. I'm pretty sure. Right in here. Yep. We just head up here and get the switch. There was a um a little like red dot in the sky um, that you had just go through. I thought it was gonna be a door, honestly, but it was just like a little dot. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. Let's go through. Um, I'm gonna go tornado. I haven't I haven't played as much tornado in this in this mini let's in this series yet. How the heck did I get hit? What? Okay. Tornado is not nearly as good as it is in Nightmare in, or sorry in Return to Dreamland. In that game, it's so much better. My gosh. Oh, I almost got one too. Dang it. I was so close. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, let's go into the next one. Well, first off, you know what? Let's go to the secret. Or sorry, the, to the level. The minigame. Bomb rally again. Still can't, you know, do more than level one. But okay, let's continue. Let's go for another shot of bomb rally. Last time it didn't exactly go as, you know, as well as I would have liked it to. Um, so hopefully this time we can actually have a little better of an attempt. Nice, okay, there's yellow. So one's down, which is great. Which is definitely what I like. Oh, that was early as heck. Okay, we're fine. Nice, okay, there's green. It is me and you, red. It's me and you. Nice, there we go. This one was way easier than uh, the last time. <laughs> last time I just freaking, it just, uh, you know what the problem was? It was going kind of slow at like a decent pace. And all of a sudden when it was going to me, it just picked up the pace incredibly, um, like incredibly high, I guess. That made no sense whatsoever. The pace was picked up really fast when it got to me. And that was just not enjoyable. <laughs> I did not appreciate that when it happened. Okay, I got to get through here. Freaking Bob, Poppy Bros uh, Jr. is kind of, you know, in my path. Okay, we're fine. Uh, you know what? Make be safe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> if you just use Tornado, then you're chilling. Because Tornado has invincibility. And I don't have invincibility anymore. Alright, alright. I wish Bomb was in this game. It's a shame that I don't... Th Pretty sure Bomb didn't become an ability until Superstar, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, the next Kirby game... Is it the next one? Yeah, it is! The next Kirby game I'm gonna be playing on the channel is gonna be Superstar. And, uh, that's when Bomb gets, uh, you know, introduced. Or should I go through the- I'm gonna go through this door, because it's more of a secret door. Hey, There we go. I'll take it. You die, perfect. I'm at 30 lives, by the way. That's actually really good. That's probably, like, the most I've ever had in this game. So that's really saying something. It's kind of, um, you know, playing through, playing through this game, I've had some rough uh, instances, of course. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll get, yeah, I'll get Parasol. Show it off a little bit. It's not really, you know, too special, but you can float in the sky. It's pretty, I guess it's all right. Oh yeah, and also you kind of have a shield above you. So that's something. I'm gonna just get this. 
Get that, and use Crash to kill your to kill your brother. I don't even know if it's gonna kill him. It almost did. Like freaking heck, you see that damage? Man. Give me the bomb, and he's dead. Perfect. And I'll get Crash again. A and the level. Very nice. Pretty sure, yep, and then. Yeah, man, the next level, we're actually, or sorry, in the next stage. I'm gonna be saying level of the entire time because I'm not. When it comes to the this entire, like, you know, I guess, um. Gosh, what's the word? Array of, of stages. That's, you know, that's what I call a world because I play Mario a lot and th those are really called worlds while the things inside are called levels. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna need. My boy, my boy fire for this uh right over here yeah okay this is a cannon and uh this is probably this is also another you know pretty big mechanic that is gets pretty popular throughout the series hey one up nice definitely want to get myself a one up hey the more one ups the better that's what i always say okay it's the second room oh i know this so you, i think you just got to keep flying and like the very, there's gonna be like a few doors here and there. Pretty sure the very last door is the one I have to go through. Is that the one? No, I think that was the one right there. Oh, I can go through here, perfect. And grind right to here, and perfect, there's a switch. Very nice. This is also, this one was a pretty easy switch to get. I think overall the switches are decently easy to get. Um, there are like one or two that I remember later on that are quite a quite pains in the butt to get um, But besides those the switches are pretty easy to get It's just a matter of like finding them as long as you like find them or like you know where they are You're, you're chilling. I, f I hit him. I promise you I hit him. I pressed I pressed the attack button <laughs> Kind of like kind of reminds me of the one episode one episode of RPG where I'm like I pressed the B button What do you what episode even was that? I don't know, it's like towards the middle of the series, I think. RPG was a good series, by the way. I, I kind of missed that one. But it's it's nice to be done with it, because that one did take like... A, a year, I think? Both Melee and RPG took like a year to finish. Maybe a little, actually a little more. RPG was almost a year and a half. Melee was about a year and like a f few months. So... Yeah, luckily nowadays I try not to, you know, take too long with Let's Plays. <laughs> if I'm consistent, then I can get stuff done real quick. Real quick, and I like that. Also, that's an ability, by the way. That's called Bounce. Um, I don't really want to show it off, because Bounce is really bad of an ability. But it's a pretty fun one, I can't even lie. It's a pretty fun one, pretty interesting one. You know, I don't even know if it's fun, it's just interesting. Let's say that. So if I have if I get a chance to show it off, I will. But when it comes to like, you know, if I have an ability and I see bounce, I'm not gonna just gonna be like, oh yeah, I wanna play as bounce. That's never gonna be the case. I will get wheel, however. Because this part's gonna be really good with wheel. There ain't no secret um uh what's it called? Switch in this level. So like I don't have to worry about that. But there isn't- I think there's a pretty nice secret that you can get with wheel. Well, one up for one thing. Oh, and that's it. Just a one up. I mean, I guess that works. Oh, no! Fart! Okay. Fine, I'll get beam. I'm not trying to fight the mini boss of wheel. That's a terrible idea. Oh, fa was it- oops, my fault. <laughs> this is, a uh, Pamphy or whatever his name is? Oh, wait. Or is this Fan Fan? This boss might be named Fan Fan. Fan Fan's a really annoying boss. Like, this boss is so stupid and annoying, I hate it so much. At least it's dead. What does he even give me? Oh, throw! Okay, throw I'm pretty sure is very, very similar to backdrop. Stop pressing the button, Daniel! Except this time, it's... a little different. You actually inhale what you want to throw, then you just, like, kind of... You, it's so cool. You can actually aim where you want to throw it. It's dope as heck. I actually like this one way more than backdrop. Because at least with throw, you get more of a... A1 again, nice. With throw, you at least get more, you know, more options when it comes to like, you know, doing your moves rather than backdrop where you only get like, what, two options and that's about it. So it's not really much. All right, let's go into the arena. Let's see what we can get. Oh, speaking of backdrop, <laughs> how do they expect me to fight this guy? I guess with, I guess like that, 
I'm at one hit, by the way. You know what, though? This will give me a chance to, um... To get an end tomato. Ooh, he's almost dead, though. He's almost dead. There we go. I'm just getting you. And honestly, get the heck out of here. Perfect. I'm gonna keep throw. I'd rather, much rather have throw than backdrop. Hey, nice. We get the uh, invincibility lollipop again. We yeah, actually get it much more than I remember it actually being a thing in this game. I did not expect it to be so common in this game, but I guess it is. And tomato didn't need it, but it was there. I mean, if it's there, you might as well take it, right? <sighs> oh, dang! I thought it was gonna work. Die. Oh, if I, if only I was a little bit closer, I could have made the Bronto bird come a little closer. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. Nice. What's over here, though? Oh, hey, broom guy. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Why is this such a big door? Oh, okay. It's these guys. Oh, perfect. Throw is going to be great for this. Throw is actually going to be quite amazing for this. Now that I think about it. Die. Stupid. Yeah, throw is awesome for this. Like, uh, like I said, you know, because I, I mentioned how the in, how just regular inhaling works best for those enemies instead of like you know actually having an ability. And because throw is very very similar to that, um, in a way, uh, it kind of works a, a little well, a little a little more than you would think. Throw is so good. Wow. Why do I not use throw more often? It's a really solid ability. Oh, this. Oh, okay, I'm actually gonna have to get um, burning for this. Uh, can I- can I get it? There we go. This part's really stupid and annoying. I think you have to like... S well! You know what? Anything for a 1-up. Do I even risk it? We do. We doing it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice little shortcut to the end of the level. Okay. A 1 again! Oh my gosh! I'm getting much better at this. Which is good. I mean, like, if I continuously get 1-ups, then I can- Oh, sorry. If I continuously get 1 in the gold game- Goal game, then I can get 1-ups left and right. And I guess that's kind of a good thing. <laughs> What's over here, by the way? Oh, nothing. Just a little bit. A little, uh, little chill area. Alright, level 6. Now, this one, um... I'm gonna have to- There's gonna be a, a secret switch. So I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled out for that. Let's see, there's sword, which I'm gonna definitely want to get. Sword's gonna be very, very useful. Because it's probably one- Would I say it's one of the best abilities in the game? Yeah, I'd say so. Sword is a really solid ability. And I think it is one of the best in the game. Just because of, like, how it works. And, like, how useful it is compared to, like, a bunch of other abilities. Now, this guy I gotta be careful of. The fire guys are the most annoying to deal with, probably. Hello! Mr. Clock. I forgot what this guy's name is. Pretty sure he appears in Superstar as well. Hey, he's dead. Do I- <sighs> Mike's nice, but nah. Okay, now here's the room. As you can see, it's very dark. I'm pretty sure- Yep, there we go. <laughs> That's Secret Switch. The idea behind this is you have to get the light ability, which is- it was which is, appears in this room, and then use that to light up the room and then come back and then get into the door but if you know where the door is kind of like how i did then you don't even need the light ability so it's actually pretty nice that i remember that because i could just like go through without even using the light ability oh my gosh i was scared for a second that was gonna hit thought i was gonna get hit by the cutter guy oh here we go so we're back into this area Ooh, i'm gonna i'm gonna take stone for this now I'm trying to remember exactly how I want to- how I need to do this. Because obviously that's what I need to do first. Pretty sure I need to do this one next. And then I do this one. Alright, top, bottom, middle is the- is the order if you want the one up. Um, stone is alright of an ability, but it's not really one of my favorites. So I'm gonna just get cutter. Ooh, careful, careful, let me get this. And it's another level. Or stage, ah! I'm gonna keep saying level, I don't know- it's one again? Dang, this is like, what, the third one in a row? Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. 30, what, 37 lives now? Dang. Dang, we're really, we're really going up there in the rankings, huh? All right, we might as well just go straight through the bus. Let's do it. Who is this? Ah, uh, here we go. I should have taken that. 
That would have been smarter. High jump is gonna is the way to actually do this do this right. Yeah, it's best to have high jump for this, honestly. Now it's really annoying that sometimes he'll just like come out of nowhere and be very annoying, kind of just like bolt through. Kind of like I pressed a button. Hello. Fine. Let's let's do a quick redo. <laughs> First time I actually buy a, die in a mini boss this time or in this game. So you can't freaking um you know injure him on the way up. This is not the boss itself. Uh, this is just a weighted boss. The boss down there is the boss. That's who you're gonna fight. Um, but that's kind of like a, a, a different form of the boss you're actually going to fight. Ooh, he almost hit me. We're fine though. And here we have it. Of this, this is the boy himself, Krakow. So yes, Krakow is in fact in this game. Um, I honestly thought he was gonna be in Butter Building. <laughs> but um, no, he's in uh, Grape Garden. Which honestly makes more sense because Grape Garden is kind of like, it's pretty much sky based. And also he's a very easy boss. Like, my goodness, that was really good. The good stuff. Didn't take any damage. I died once, but we're gonna just like ignore that. That doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore. Dang, Kirby is struggling. Something's gonna happen. Dang, that's rough. He should have just eaten it right then and there. Shouldn't have celebrated, because if you celebrate, then you get cocky, and then that stuff happens. <laughs> so of that, that'll be it for today's episode of Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next one, we'll be going through level 5 Yogurt Yard. And uh, seeing exactly what it has in store for us there. Definitely going to be some more switches to keep an eye out for. I'm pretty sure there's a really annoying... Yep, there is a very annoying one. Um, a very annoying switch to get in this in this level. Oh gosh, I can't. That's gonna be. That's gonna suck. I know exactly which one this is. This is probably like the worst one in the game, maybe. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. So I guess that's gonna be enjoyable, huh? So with that, uh, subscribe, like, comments, uh, social media, including Twitch, is of course down below in the description. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Pop Tarch, out.